So, uh, one question I had right for you was you know we, we looked at what happens due to the power for you know various values of R. Mm -hmm. Earlier we did 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm, 1 mega ohm, something right. Yes. What happens if R is 0? Oh, okay. <coughs> That's an interesting case. Well, let's try look at that corner case. Yeah. Okay, so I'm saying <coughs> yes. yes. So maybe just a switch that is thrown. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So maybe that's the right way to do it. Put a switch here. Yes. Yeah. Ideal switch that is thrown at yeah. t equal to zero. We see of t. Okay. So you have a switch S. Yeah. Right. Oh no. The input is uh, just some VDD. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right. This is just VDD. VDD. Mm. Okay. Right. So you are throwing mm. an ideal switch at t equal to zero. Zero. Exactly. Right. Okay. So I know that my well. Let me come from the other side. Hmm. Let's let me let me say that there is some resistance, but I make it zero. Okay. I okay. knew that I would have an exponential yes. response. Yeah. But now that exponential response is such that the resistance is zero. So yes. the time constant is zero. Time constant is zero. So which means that the capacitor will just looks it'll look like a step as well. Okay. So so what do we have? We are saying okay. So, let so us almost instantaneously this. the capacitor voltage will go to the input because KVL exactly. has to be satisfied. Exactly. Right. So that loop. let's write down the let's write down the equation again. Yes. Okay. This is <laughs> IC of t. IC of t. Okay. Is C times dVc by dt. Yes. Okay. But what is VC of t? <coughs> Is uh, VDD um, VDD um, at, uh, ah. at uh, yes. So this is <laughs> I'll I'll write this as into some theta of t. Okay. Okay. So that so theta of t is like this. Okay. The t theta of t it is zero. Yes. Till here and then it goes to VDD at t equal to zero. Okay. Okay, it's sort of yes. is not a. It's basically like a step, right? It's a step, it's a step exactly. Right. Okay. Right? Ah. So <coughs> now, what does this ah, mean? Okay. I C of t. Okay. Is going to be C times d by dt of v d d into theta of t. Yes. Okay. So this, so this uh, derivative itself is slightly weird. Yes. Because. If you look at the derivative in at anything but zero, yes, there's no problem. There's no problem. But if you look at at zero, it it actually for an ideal step it's infinity. It's infinity, right? Okay. So so this derivative itself is okay slightly tricky to deal with. Yes. So we will not get into that side. I think this. They I think they will deal with it in the future course. In signals and systems and stuff, you will deal with such yes. such functions, right? Okay. So then. What is what is going hmm. to happen here? So what will happen to the? So effectively, <coughs> I think what you are saying is. So effectively, what we can oh. say is, ah. if you are interested in the voltage across the capacitor, yeah, it looks like before uh, at t less than zero, yeah. it is zero. Yeah. At t greater than zero, it's VDD. That much we can tell. Okay, exactly. Right. So if you look at VC because of you said VC of t is VDD zero. times theta of t. Correct. So it is zero, and, and then, then it is yeah. uh, VDD. So, so this is known. Yes. Right? So looks like it is just as it is just it steps suddenly from zero to VDD to VDD at t equal to right? zero with an infinite slope with an infinite slope. Okay. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So now then let's look at okay what happens for example to the energy. Ah. Okay. 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 So we know that the energy. That so is basically, origin. By the way, originally I was thinking that uh, you know we start out off from an exponential. Yeah. And I keep reducing the time constant of the exponential because I'm reducing the yes. resistance, and that makes sense, right? Because the initial slope yes. of the exponential <coughs> was uh, uh, what was it? Was it uh, of the of VC it, of t? The initial current was v by r. Correct. Right. Yes. And because the cap we said the capacitor is initially discharged, Correct. and that now goes to infinity. Exactly. So that is what you were saying here. Yes. I of t. Yes. Because now, if r, if you set r to zero, if for the RC circuit, 
the in, the current will just shoot up shoot up shoot up but right? then for a very small instant of time because its capacitor charges almost instantaneously almost instantaneously Makes so it's sense. like you have a very large current surge of current that charges the capacitor quickly and then it stops and then it stops right okay, okay so that's one way to look at it so uh, okay but the energy energy the source, yes right yes we know is still c v d d squared yes correct energy <laughs> in the capacitor is half c v d d squared yes and earlier we said that the energy dissipated <coughs> this half c v d d squared we showed in fact yes was dissipated in the resistor in the resistor right but now theoretically if i make it yes that small okay then does this still hold now we have a problem right yeah because we do not have a resistance correct. to dissipate that uh, correct. Uh, that energy yeah. so that energy must be going somewhere uh, and we also said that the wires and the switch are all ideal yes right we don't yes. have any way exactly and uh, so it must be going somewhere else now it is uh, it should, well clearly it is electrical energy that is going somewhere else correct it needs to be changing into some other form okay okay um most likely i think the classical explanation for this yeah. is that uh, it is converted into electromagnetic energy okay so most likely it is radi it is radiation okay okay, okay. so it it basically radiates away uh, as an antenna now again students will learn what an antenna is in a future course yeah. but clearly because electrically there is an energy imbalance okay it has been converted into some other form we see that there is no heat dissipation through a resistor we see that there is no conversion to chemical energy like a battery being charged correct so the only other possibility that we can think of is that it is converted into electromagnetic energy, energy. Okay. as a radiation and it is radiated away radiated in fact away. we had seen in the previous week the uh, the radiation concept for wireless for wireless communication right that's okay, right okay okay so that's right you could be losing energy to that form as well right that's right okay i think that sort of makes sense but these are sort of pathological cases i think in reality even a small wire there would have like at least micro ohms of resistance that's right. right and such a large current flowing through a small resistance can give you a uh, power dissipation exactly and it will end up dissipating the power in the resistor right that's so correct. that is the things this was more a very theoretical uh this thing that's right